why do we need to do a detox? There's many different reasons why people do detoxes. Some people do it just simply because they want to lose weight. Other people, you know, do it because they are aware of the different toxins that we accumulate in our bodies. And some people want to do it because they have had some symptoms. They feel discomfort, whether it's intestinal discomfort or other type of uh, symptoms that they have been feeling. So we're going to be talking about all that today. I want you to think about right now is um, think about your body as it is your house. Your body, right, is your home. Is where your your soul, your spirit is living in. And you have, just like a house, you have a strong foundation. That strong foundation is your body. You also have, you know, just like a house has the pipes where all of those, your, your, your water is running through the house, through all the different rooms. Your pipes basically are your veins and the water running through it is your blood right which actually happens to get recycled you know 365 days a year through your liver so so your body really is your home is the place where your soul and your spirit spirit is living during this lifetime why do a detox and the main reason is because there are over 77,000 man-made chemicals in the environment. Some things we can control and some, some things we cannot control. It has been demonstrated that a human being, on average, consumes about 33,000 of those man-made chemicals. And there is different reasons and different ways on how we actually get in touch or consume those chemicals. And the first one is the air. The air that we breathe. And those are things perhaps that we cannot control if we're on the outside, if we're, you know, just going for a hike or maybe the city that we live in, right? So we may not be able to control that. However, we can control the, the air that we breathe within our home. Um, so imagine the air filter. If you were not to change it, how clogged that air filter will get, the same thing happens with your respiratory system, right? So you want to make sure that you keep your lungs and um, your respiratory system clean. Other place where uh, we actually absorb that is from the water. And this is the water that we drink every day. And whether it's filter water or not filter water, there's still a lot of minerals and chemicals and toxins that ended up in the water within our communities that come from the different industries, the, the, um, the, the businesses that are around us that ended up throwing all the water or the trash. Um, so, you know, being aware of how that water gets clean and filter before it gets to your home, but more importantly, also adding filters to the water that you drink. So well, the food that we eat every single day has different types of toxins depending on or where they're coming from. You know, if we're not used to eating organic foods, if we're used to eating processed foods, genetically modified. So all those things are extremely important to be aware of because when we consume that food, we're literally putting it in now inside of our body through what we eat, right? So that's going again inside of our system going into our bloodstream and going into our organs. Now let's talk about the different beauty products that we use. The beauty products also have a lot of toxins. Most of the products that we use on a daily basis, and I'm talking about shampoos, conditioners, soap, uh, toothpaste, um, you know, nail polish, makeup, hairsprays, cream, all these things that we, you know, buy from the grocery store, buy from the pharmacy or the drugstore, we put it in our body and it also gets absorbed. You have to remember the skin is the largest organ in our body. So anything that we put on our skin, anything that we put on our nails and our face and our hair, now is being absorbed into our body, into our bloodstream, and then into our organs. 
again, talking about the things that we do have control versus the things that we don't have control over it. We do have control over the food that we eat, the food that we uh, make and prepare and we, um, we buy. And also we have control over the products that we bring into our home. What happens is that we start feeling symptoms, right? Such as brain fog, fatigue, headaches, anxiety, you know, maybe it's a low drive, maybe it's inflammation of your intestines, depression, bloating, constipation. Um, maybe it's not constipation, maybe it's the opposite, it's diarrhea. So if you're feeling any of these symptoms, I would encourage you that you pay attention to, because what happens, and also what happened to me, and this is a true story, um, I was having many of these different um, symptoms that you see on this list, and I wasn't paying attention to them. I was ignoring them. So this is literally our body telling us, hey, dun, 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 pay attention, because if I'm telling you that I'm feeling these different things, which are the symptoms, is because something is going on within our body. And I'll tell you why. Here, I'm going to be talking about the rain barrel effect. So I want you now to use this next metaphor. Imagine a barrel, like a wine barrel, like the one that you see here, right? So what happens is we have the genetics that we are born with, the one that we inherit from our family, right? They come from our mother, our father, our grandparents, our great grandparents, right? So we start our life by the time that we're born with these genetics, with these genes that already exist within us, we're born with it. Now, along with that, there is genes from diseases that our family may have suffered from. Maybe not our direct parents, but our grandparents. All those are inherited, right? So they exist within us. However, they do not have to express themselves. What that means is they don't have to actually activate. Depending on how I live my lifestyle, this is going to determine whether those genes will express themselves or not. So I have the responsibility to take care of myself so that doesn't happen. We have the responsibility. We have to own that responsibility and say, okay, well, you know, how am I going to eat? What am I going to surround myself with? Um, what kind of air do I want to breathe? What kind of air, uh, water I want to drink? Even emotional toxification, like the people that we surround ourselves with, affects our well being. So that is the baseline on that rain barrel. So that starts adding up. Imagine that rain barrel filling up, right? So over time and over the years, we start accumulating. And I really want you to pay attention to the word accumulation because we may be completely healthy at the very beginning of you know, our lifetime. But as the years go by, as we start getting older, as you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, we start feeling more and more symptoms. And what happens is it doesn't happen overnight. Most of us do think that it happens overnight. But reality is that it doesn't. We start accumulating within that rain barrel. That rain barrel is our body. We start accumulating those toxins and those toxins have been telling us, nudging us, telling us through the symptoms that something is happening that we needed to pay attention to. But because we were talking it under the rug, we were not paying attention. Then by the time that we have a lifetime event, that means something really stressful. It could be the loss of a job. It could be the loss of a loved one. It could be uh, a move, you know, things like that, that now is creating a tremendous amount of stress in the body. What happens is those genes that are started just as simple genes, along with the combination of our lifestyle and the environment that we have lived in for many times, that accumulation that I told you to pay attention to, and the final event, then spill out everything. Your body can no longer take it. And that is what causes disease. And what is a disease? Is 
ease is the natural place where our body should live. We should be living at ease. Our body should be living at ease. And this is means it's no longer living at that place. And that is when the rain barrel have filled up and everything basically just explodes. The benefits of doing a detox. What does it do when we do an, a detox? It literally eliminates the toxins from our body. It allows our internal system to take a break from all those toxins that we have been consuming because we're trying to eat to the minimum just what is necessary for our body, allowing our body, our system, our blood, our organs to take a break, a break from that grinding that has been living for a long time. So those toxins then start getting out of the body. How do they get out of the body? Through three ways. The first one is through urine. So paying attention to your urine, paying attention to the color of the urine. Is it light? Is it dark? Is it reddish? These are indications of how our system is functioning. The second one is through valve movements. How often, how frequently are you having valve movements? Are you having constipation? Are you having diarrhea? Are you having discomfort? Meaning intestinal discomfort. All those things are extremely important to pay attention to because if we cannot eliminate, literally take out all those toxins from our body, we are accumulating it, which means they stay within our intestinal tract. And if they overpacked, if they are overflowing, then it goes into our re the rest of our organs within our body. Then it helps us improve the digestion. So when we give ourselves or our body the chance to take that breather, that break, then our digestion starts regulating and it starts getting into that rhythm that it should have been into all alone, but perhaps we didn't give it a chance to. So now you're giving it a chance to do that. It reduces inflammation for people that suffer from chronic pain, whether it's your shoulder, your hips, your knees, your hands. When you feel inflammation in your hands, like you feel your rings are a little tight, that means there is water retention in the body. So by doing a detox, you are also flushing out through the urine all that water retention that you have improve your skin in you're not going to believe this but my skin looks now better than ever before because when you start eating healthier when you give your organs and your system a chance to cleanse then it shows from the inside out your skin looks better your nails start growing your hair looks healthier and thicker is everything from the inside out because what we eat is reflected on the outside in our body it helps us connect it helps us connect with our soul with our higher self why because now we don't have all that congestion imagine traffic a traffic jam right it, that is how our body feels when we have all those toxins within our body so allowing all of that to be removed, it allows you to feel more connected with your body, to feel happier. And I have that joy, right? It fosters joy because all of a sudden you feel happier in your own body. You feel happier because you can move better. You don't have so much inflammation. So I literally went from wanting to do these detoxes and wanting to exercise just for the appearance of it, right? Like, oh, I wanted to look better. I wanted to do this. I wanted to, now it's just about pure health. Like, how can I feel better? How can I feel better in my own body? You know, there is a direct correlation between the gut and our brain and our moods. So depending on how we eat, you know, that is how we feel. How does our brain feel? How our moods change? So paying attention to all of that, like maybe you eat something that is has a lot of fat or maybe too too much grains or um, you're not digesting very well um, some beans or things like that. So maybe you have headaches, all those things. Pay attention to what you eat and immediately how you feel after you eat. You will be surprised when you start connecting with your body that way, how much better that relationship turns out to be, how much better you start feeling and how much better you start living 
not only feeling yourself, but you are a kinder person to humanity, to everyone around you, because you yourself are literally feeling better about everything. Uh, registrations for my detox, which is a seven day fruit detox, is now opened. You can register today. The first three days are the first three days when you are adjusting and is slowly lowering down the amount of things that you are taking. And then on day four is when we start the full blown fruit detox. And when you enroll, I give you the, the grocery list, what you need to buy. I give you a guide. I give you a journal where you're going to write down how you're feeling every day. So it's a very, um, comprehensive detox. We also have four calls, four live calls, where I walk you through what it means to do a full body detox, what it means to do a mind detox. Remember, when we're trying to detoxify our soul, our mind, our body, you have to do it in a holistic way. There's a lot of thoughts that we carry in here that it is necessary for us to start rewiring. So part of the second call is all about the mind detox. The third one, and um, this one is about the spirit detox. So we go into all these feelings and emotions that we've been carrying, whether it's from past lives or from this life, so we can learn how to accept them, how to la label them and embrace them so we can transcend them. Um, so this is a very important part because a lot of the ways on how we eat and how we treat our body is based on past lives, is based on maybe traumas that we lived in this life in our earlier years. So I help you through the mind detox and the spirit detox on how to transform all that. And then finally, we have a call, the last one, number four, where we um, just go into how to integrate, how to integrate everything that you just learned so you can now adopt that into your daily life and you can start living a healthier life for the rest of your life with a different level of awareness, with a different level of consciousness about what food means, about the energy that food brings into our body right that vibration that each food has and how can we leverage that for a better existence so we go through all that during the detox so if you're ready to sign up i'll be honored to have you there with me to walk you through it it would be an amazing seven days and a lot of people sign up this time of the year because they feel like, oh my God, I ate so much during the holidays. I would say, do not worry about any of that right now. Continue enjoying your holidays. If you missed my post from yesterday, take a look at the 80-20 rule that I created where yes, you should enjoy 20% of those things, indulgements that we like enjoying in life. But try to maintain that 80%, but without guilt. Don't feel guilty about it. Because those emotions, we ended up somatizing them into our body as well. So with all that, I wanted to send everybody a big hug. Thank you for joining. And if you decide to enroll, there is the website. Again, www.sandyviteri.com backslash detox. And I'll see you all in there.